<laughs> I should not be using tissue to clean my lens. Now, I don't know exactly what culture this is from, but ever since I was a kid, my mom would make something that we would call floating thing, which is just, it's like Filipino mochi. And is just some dough that they would cook in a circle and it would flatten out and it would float on water. And every New Year's, you would eat it as a sign of having your problems float away for the New Year so you can start the New Year fresh or something like that. As a kid, I called it floating thing because it would float on water. So dumb, right? The actual name is Palutan, I think is uh, how to say it. Eating it will have your problems float away. Also, I just really like mochi and it kind of reminds me of it. A more stickier mochi, I think, topped with coconut and brown sugar. First of all, Happy New Year's, guys. It is 2024. Now that means a lot of things, especially for me. We always look at last year as how did we end the year? Are we at a better place than we were the previous year and at the beginning of the year than where we are right now? I made a tweet yesterday talking about like I've regressed in terms of subs and viewership, but the quality of my content has gotten so much better. Even though my content has gotten better in a statistically sounding standpoint financially and also in terms of just the numbers no i've gotten worse i've regressed back to when i was back at like maybe like 5,000 subscribers this is still really good though there's this other filipino saying or i guess filipino superstition i should say is that the first thing that you do in the beginning of the new year is going to determine what you do for the rest of the year right now i'm taking out the trash meaning i'm unloading <laughs> all that extra trash that's around me because i think that this new year's is going to be a year not of where of there's going to be an explosion of growth though i'm not too sure about that i think i think it's going to be mostly a learning experience for me now i was live streaming yesterday um right on new year's and there was a lot of things that i talked about i feel like i've regressed into my previous self which is not a good thing meaning like i'm kind of scared to be out there again i'm scared i feel like i'm struggling to be able to communicate and to trust others once again i don't know why it's just it just happens to me like i think when i took that break from twitch it gave me a lot of time to myself to kind of figure out what i wanted to do how i wanted to tackle things especially with the new year coming it gave me a chance to kind of just reflect on everything that i've done in 2023 i think i've probably had one of the roughest years that i've had in a while i even consider this probably rougher than the time that when i wanted to commit self-harm in a way i think this last year there was just a lot that i had to deal with that i had unpackaged and i talked about it in a video where i was saying mentally and emotionally i was going through my trials and tribulations on top of just trying to figure out my youtube i think when it came to youtube though i love the grind i don't know what it is about it even though it is sad and disappointing that i'm not at the place where i was at the beginning of 2023 i love the grind of creating content and being somewhat of an underdog it's a lot of fun for me Whoa! A topic that we spoke about on stream is things that you're gifted and things that you're meant to do, right? When I was doing anime reactions, I kind of felt like I wasn't really doing anything and I didn't really feel like a YouTuber compared to how I feel right now. I didn't feel as gifted with creating content when I was doing reactions. I knew my reactions were good. I knew my energy was good. And I knew more so, I feel like I was one of one of the higher quality reactors out there, even though it was cut up and people didn't like that. But I never felt like a content creator as I should, like I do now. I feel like more so a content creator and me doing this shift five months ago made me realize that I am gifted at creating content and this is what i like to do i love creating videos I love creating content i love thinking on my feet knowing that i might not have a video next week or a video this week which i'm just like holy crap what am i doing this weekend <laughs> that fact that i have to think oh man what's what's the next video i'm going to shoot and i love coming up with these ideas and i know even though my things are kind of under the radar right now since the algorithm and people say you shouldn't be speaking about the algorithm because you should be making content for people and i am 
it's just that I'm shifting I'm shifting audiences so the algorithm does not like that <laughs> if you always look at how the algorithm looks at things they don't like when you're not doing what is what has grown your channel so you'll be recommended less which is which has been an ongoing thing for me like I'm doing content that people didn't find me off of I'm doing anime IRL anime manga content people find me through anime reactions and I completely dropped anime reactions yeah I have to speak about the algorithm because in a sense I'm going against it and that's completely fine because this year I I plan to stabilize that's all I want if I'm able to get at the end of this year to where I was at the beginning of 2023 with the content that I'm doing now, then I'm going to be so happy. That's all I want this year. So that's my primary goal and to continue to push my creativity because I'm always learning. I don't have a, a formula to how I make videos. I don't have a formula to how I create content. It's always kind of on the fly and I'm just figuring it out as I go. I'm not like Mr. Beast who has a formula to how he creates his content, which his content is amazing. But I'm not trying to be a Mr. Beast. I'm not trying to be the anime man or trash taste boys, Connor, any of them. I'm trying to be me. I'm just trying to do what I want to do. All in all with me, just wanting to say, I know I'm good at creating content. It's just the consistency now that I have to work with. And you guys know me, consistent. One thing that I know not a lot of people can take me on as is the consistency and my work ethic. Those two are like my strong suit as a content creator. I am very persistent and I will keep going. I need to work out. <laughs> with that, this is just a short video of me just saying, Happy New Year's, guys. I hope you guys are looking forward to the new year. I'm not going to say new year, new me, because at the end of 2023, even though it was really hard for me and hard to see where I was mentally, physically, health-wise, as a content creator, all of that, I'm proud of where I am. I'm proud of where I left off at. And I've learned a lot of lessons for an improved me. So 2024, new year, improved me. No new me still the same old terms are but improved and that's my goal for this year improvement stabilization i also want to do a bit more gratitude being thankful for things for the things that i have around me i'm in a really really good position to be at like 30,000 subscribers i've earned it i worked really hard even though those 30,000 people hate me now <laughs> but with that happy new year's guys i hope you guys have all your goals ready to go let me know what you're trying to do at the end of the year in the comment section below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.